and welcome to City Entertainment's first ever Hearthstone update. Today we're going to be talking about the new King of RNG Kit Kats. Also, the new Hearthstone app released for Android devices. An ESL update, Team Archon's new player. And the best decks in the current meta. First, I have to talk about the new King of RNG Kit Kats. Recently, while playing Warrior, Kit Kats puts out a Sneed's old Treader, only to have it eat a Siphon Soul. However, Sneed, upon death, decides to produce Kel'Thuzad, who brings back Sneed. On his next turn, Kit Kats plays Cruel Taskmaster, targeting Sneed to kill a 4-7 Twilight Drake. His opponent, This, spelled T-H-I-J-S, uses a big game hunter to snipe the now 7-2 Sneed so he could Dark Bomb Kel'Thuzad and Shadow Flame the board. He is thwarted in his tracks because Sneed decides to summon a second Kel'Thuzad. Next game, This is on the back foot with a Sneed in range of Consecrate and a freshly played Piloted Shredder. This uses his Piloted Shredder to trade with Kit Kat's Piloted Shredder and out comes a Pine Size Summoner. He uses Consecrate to kill the Pine Size Summoner and Sneed's old Shredder. For the third time in a row, Sneed brings out Kel'Thuzad, bringing back the Piloted Shredder, Pine Size Summoner, and Sneed's old Shredder. First off, it has a 1 in 62 chance of making Kel'Thuzad, so to get Kel'Thuzad off of Sneed is already low. Getting Kel'Thuzad three times in a row is just insane, with a 1 in 238,328 chance of happening. That is lower than the chance of getting a Royal Flush. In other news, Blizzard has finally released Hearthstone for Android devices. This means that people of Android tablets or Android devices 6 inches or larger can download and play Hearthstone. For those who try this out on Android, you will receive a free classic pack. All you need to do is play a game, win, or lose. ESL just finished its 8th and final week of the Legendary series, with Savitz making the 4th slot for the land finals, along with Zale of Week 7, Magic Amy of Week 6, and Dark Wanix of Week 5. Pi Ping Ho will also be making the finals due to pro points, while Chalky, Silent Storm, and Waifu claimed theirs through the finals playoffs. These players will be competing for a $20,000 prize pool in the ESL studios in Burbank, California, February 14th through the 15th. On top of that, ESL set aside $2,000 per player to help with travel and accommodation. Team Archon just picked up another player, Zixo. For those of you who don't know, Archon is a top tier Hearthstone team consisting of Firebat, the World Champion, Amaz, Hosty, and Backspace. Zixo recently in an interview stated his excitement to be a part of Team Archon. With this recent pickup, Zixo has moved to America, and Archon is looking to be the strongest Hearthstone team to date. This past month has been interesting. With the release of Goblins vs. Gnomes, everyone has been trying to create the best new class in deck. After Rogues nerfed to Auctioneer and Warlocks nerfed to Soulfire, they seem to fall out of favor. However, Zoo and Handlock have been very prominent even after their initial fall. Druid receiving no changes and already known as one of the most powerful classes in the game, got even better. Many, including us, now classified Druid as the strongest class in the game. Paladin went from almost never being played to being the second best class in the game. But what makes Paladin so good now? First, let's look at some of the previous nerfs. Paladin used to have a difficult time against Hunter, which has fallen out of favor due to its nerf to Starving Buzzard. Paladin also had a difficulty with Druid, due to its ability to play high-value creatures. With the release of Shield and Minibot, Quartermaster, and Muster for Battle, Paladin received the tools it needed to be able to defeat these counters. Paladin also gained access to Dr. Boom, one of the best, if not the best, card in the game. To round out the top three best classes, it would have to be Mage, due to its versatility. With the release of Goblins vs. Gnomes, Mage got access to some really powerful cards. Flame Cannon, Unstable Portal, Snow Chugger, Goblin Blast Mage, and even Echo of Medivh. If you saw Mage before, it was Frost Mage. Now if you see Mage, it can be Tempo Mage with Echo Medivh and Duplicate. Mech Mage, an aggro deck utilizing Snow Chugger and Blast Mage. Fatigue Mage, a form of Freeze Mage, and even its initial claim to fame, Freeze Mage. So, tell us, what's your favorite deck? What's your favorite class? Put your answer in the comment section below. Also. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click the annotation on my face to see nothing, because we don't have any annotations. And as always, good luck, and have fun.